All right, last but not least, that's Bill. And that's Will. Today on the Bill and Will Show, we talking probably the most global superstar in the NFL, other than Tom Brady, Odell Beckham Jr. He's back with the blonde hair, Gibson. We all seen him in, in, uh, in New York with the blonde hair. He was uh, amazing before he hurt his uh, ankle. And uh, they shipped him out to the Browns. He said he's back. Um, he's talking to Cam Newton. They hyping each other up. <laughs> talking to Cruz. He said the, the blonde hair is back, and that means his attitude. That means a change of attitude. He's ready to go. He's betting on himself. Gibson, how do you feel about Odell Beckham Jr.? Odell Beckham is a legit threat. Legit wide out. Oh, yeah, for sure. Legit, man. I'm going to tell you right now, man, <clears throat> I don't know why he went to the Browns. Got traded. Gibson didn't have no choice. But I don't know what he going to do with that quarterback they got. At the, <laughs> I, I don't know how he going to get his number. I don't know how he going to make his incentive money. I feel bad for him. They, he, I know this dude went through four coaches in three years. I know that. Four offensive coordinators. But this guy, no, you're not going nowhere with him. That's the thing about it. It's like, oh, they got to get off that team, man. It's like you only as good as the person that's throwing you the ball. That's all you can do. Receiver. Jerry, Jerry Rice. Jerry Reese. Jerry Rice is who he is because look who was throwing him the ball. Yes, sir. Two Hall of Famers. One arguably the best of all time, Montana. And we ain't talking about jewels, Montana. And and you got to understand, man, Odell, you came out the gate. Mm, my gosh. You was up there with Jerry Rice. You you probably surpassed him and Randy Moss when, when uh, their first four seasons in the league. You was amazing. Um, And you were playing with a great quarterback. You know what I mean? A Hall of Fame quarterback in my eyes, Eli Manning. You know what I mean? And after that, then you started the antics and everything else, man. You always been a person. You 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 always been a person that the kids love, man. The kids love you. That's why you're so popular now. The women love you. That's why you're so popular now. But it all started going downhill when you went to Paris. You got caught with that with that with that. Uh, she wasn't a famous person in Paris. Just a regular girl. But the white stuff on the pizza box didn't look good. I don't know if that was Parmesan <laughs> or cocaine, all right? <laughs> but allegedly, we don't know. So ever since then, that, it went downhill for you, Od Odell. But in my eyes, if you were to play with a guy like a Russell Wilson, if you were to play a guy like Drew Brees, a, a Matt Ryan, um, any one of those guys, uh, um, you'll be great. You'll be amazed because no one can, can stop he you. Can bounce back. He, he can, can bounce, bounce back. back. I don't know how y'all gonna how y'all gonna look this year. I think y'all will make the playoffs this year just because of the the people around y'all. But I guess that's what you need. You need to get to the playoffs. But then after that, I think somebody needs to demand a trade because your quarterback isn't just he's not it. He's not it. He's not it. Um, so. Like like you like Odell. I mean, just like Cam Newton this year. You you talking. You want everybody to know I'm back. I'm finna do this. I'm finna do that. But the, th the difference is between you and Cam. Cam has the ball every possession. Yep. You have the ball less than you get thrown at probably less than ten times a game, and three of them is gonna be over your head. Two of them is gonna be in the ground. So I guess you got five shots to make a great catch. You gotta. I don't know. But Odell, I hope you do great. I want you to do great. Do I think you'll do great? Mm, I don't think you're Julio Jones. Julio Jones is the best in the league. I don't think you're going to do better than Michael Thomas. Julio Jones is 72 years old, man. I, I, everybody agrees with me that Julio Jones is the best wide receiver in the league. Right, right now. You, you, Julio Jones. Oh, my God. Is you the don't best that. wide receiver. See, I was with you all the way, and then you crashed into the bank. They asked the GMs and the media who is the best wide receiver in the league. Guess who they said? Exactly. Julio Jones. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins? He came in like third. Third? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. 
That's an ESPN thing you do. No, I'm being honest with you, Gibson. They they polled the GMs and Julio Jones is number one. There's nothing he can't do on the field, Gibson. Man, he's, he's seven two, in, man. Oh, he's the best receiver in the league. He man. can't even separate no more. Stop. You, anyway, you got anything to say about Odell Beckham Jr. and the, and the hey, blonde hair? Hey, Odell. If Odell, Odell, if y'all. I'm glad you back with the blonde hair. I'm glad you got that attitude back. You're going to need it because this boy you got, I can't even think his name right now. Uh, Mayfield Baker. Baker Mayfield. If you get a no. thousand yards this year, I'll go blonde with you. And then Mick Chubb got fifteen hundred yards rushing. Y'all been run the ball this year. You got Y'all Landry, ain't gonna be you passing. Got, you got Landry out there too. Oh my God. Come on, man. man. Hey, I, I don't. I Him and Landry gonna get traded because they, they ain't on. Mm -mm. I don't see Baker it. Mayfield ain't your man. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, it's all Please. good. I don't see it. I see y'all. Uh, I see y'all making the playoffs, and if y'all win a playoff game, that'd be good for y'all guys. But your quarterback, man, he's just not it. But good thing I haven't seen a lot of commercials lately. And, and this is what I don't like about what's going on right now, especially with football players and especially with athletes, but especially football players. It's hard to skip seasons. And if y'all don't – he didn't play last year. Who didn't? Odell Beckham. He played. Just didn't see him. He played. And now we, we running the risk of – Maybe missing. We already know college football is out. They gonna play college football. If you think they ain't gonna play, oh, Ogeron already said it. Okay, <laughs> they gonna play some football. So, <clears throat> if they don't play football and you and you miss this this year, I'll be okay if they say, well, we can still gonna play, but we are gonna push the season back. We are gonna push it back to November. We are gonna play November, December, January, and February. I'll be okay with that. But if they scrap the season all together, oh, they're gonna be in trouble. Because it's hard, it's hard to do that, man. It's hard to miss a year and two years and come back. It's hard, man. Be, uh, he's, he's a young guy. It'd be harder for Julio Jones to get those guys getting Because he's 72 years no, old. Julio not, Jones is not the best in the game right now. Julio is the best receiver. He was in the really game. good when he was good. But he had his day. It's over. That's Bill. And I don't want that guy, JV or whoever, talking about with the old guy, the old guy, he need to be quiet. Yeah, you be, age, you be quiet, old guy. A ageism, that's what he said. You ageism, yeah, he old. need to sit down. Was it was it J, uh, JV? JV? Yeah. You too, JV. You go sit down. Hey man, July, <laughs> July the twenty. What July the? It's hard 15th. to keep a straight face, man, when you having fun. July fifteenth, happy birthday to my sister and my niece today, man. Y'all go out there and have fun. That's Bill. That's Will. And thank you for watching the Bill and Will show. We out. Just like.